This is Anand from Learn with Amit. In my previous videos, we have discussed about the tourist spots of Maharashtra as well as Tamil Nadu. And in this video, we are going to discuss the tourist spots of Karnataka. Let's start from this one. It is Hampi. So Hampi, it once it was the capital city of Vijayanagara Kingdom. Lot size. Vijayanagara Empire. It was the capital city of Vijayanagara Empire. And it is situated on the banks of River Tungabhadra. This is River Tungabhadra. Okay. And in about 1500 CE, it was the richest city in India. 1500 CE. Richest in India. Richest city in India. So that's it for Hampi. So next. Here. When we come uh, this side here. We find Shimoga. This is Shimoga. Shimoga is... It was re it is re renamed as Shivamogga. Chapter size. It is renamed as Shivamogga, and this Shivamogga means uh, the face of Lord Shiva. So this Shivamogga is situated on the banks of River Tunga. Okay, on the banks of River Tunga. And it is in this Shimoga district. In this Shimoga dis uh, yeah, district, the Jog Falls are situated. The popular tourist destination of South India, that is Jog Falls, are situated. Jog Falls. These Jog waterfalls are situated on the Sheravati River. Show the location. Okay. This is Jog Falls right here and this is Sharavati River and this is Shimoga and this is Tunga River and let's come south here we find this one that is the capital city of Karnataka that is Bangalore so this is Bangalore Bangalore is known as the city of gardens the garden city And it is known as the Silicon Valley of India. Silicon Valley of India. So it is known as Silicon Valley of India. And this Bangalore is the capital city of Karnataka. So that's it for Bangalore and this right here, this one, it is Mangalore. So now let's draw, uh, let's locate the highway between Bangalore and Mangalore. So this is the highway between Mangalore and Bangalore. And on this highway, uh, while we are traveling, here we find this one is it is Sakleshpur. The Sakleshpur is a hill station and it is known as Poor Man's OT. Poor Man's OT. During British rule, right? Yeah, it was known. It was known as Poor Man's Ruti during British British rule. And here below the highway, right here, right here, this one we find Sravana Belagola.
here a popular tourist uh, destination is the uh, the statue that is gomateshwara bahubali statue gomateshwara bahubali statue and it is the largest statue uh, the largest monolithic statue in the world so next let's come here below sakleshpur here we find this total it is kurg district this kurg district or it is also known as kodagu the kurg or kodagu and in uh, this kurg district uh, the headquarters of this kurg district is this one it is madikeri this kurg is known as the scotland of india scotland of india okay uh, so and the source of river kaveri that is tala kaveri is situated in this kodagu district so here right here it is tala kaveri source of river kaveri that is tala kaveri is situated in this district so we have completed kurg 2 now let's go we have uh, gone below sakleshpur and now let's go above the sakleshpur and here this one we find chitmagalur chitmagalur is also a hill station and it is the weekend gateway for the bengaluru people is the weekend gateway for for bangalore people so that's it for chikmagalur and and chikmagalur it is situated on the foothills of mulayanagiri hills mulayanagiri range Mulayanagiri, Mulayanagiri Range. So we have completed Chikmagalur too. Is it, isn't it known as the coffee land of Karnataka? Yeah, Chikmagalur is known as the coffee land of Karnataka. Coffee land of Karnataka. So we completed Chikmagalur too, and now let's come here. This is Mysore. This is known as the cultural, the cultural capital, the cultural capital of Karnataka. is situated between two rivers they are this one above is kaveri this one and below is its tributary that is kaveri north kaveri and to the south it is kaveri so below mysore and mysore is known as the city of palaces city of palaces and below mysore we find two national parks this one as well as this one this one is bandipur bandipur national park and this one it is the nagarhol national park Nagarhol NP that is Nagarhol National Park. We find many national parks in Karnataka. So 
uh, for the detailed information of the national parks of the south south india check out the video in our channel and here we have completed this one this area and let's come here again mysore is located in the foothills of chamundi hills right yeah mysore another point it is located on the foothills of chamundi hills This Chikmagalur is situated on the foothills of Mulanagiri range and Mysore is situated on the foothills of Chamundi hills. And here let's come. This one. This one we find Gokarna. This is Gokarna. Gokarna means cow's ear. It got its name by its shape it its shape is like cow's ear so next gokarna is situated between two rivers that is north ganga valley to the north ganga valley to the north and to the south it is aghanasini river ganga valley and aganasini river so we have completed uh, the major tourist spots in karnataka thank you